and welcome to our telehealth medicine information video. I'm Garvin and this video is on azopt eye drops. So what are azopt drops used for? They're used for raised pressure within the eye or ocular hypertension, also open angle glaucoma. Azopt eye drops can be used when an individual has not responded to treatment with a beta blocker eye drops or cannot use beta blocker eye drops for some reason. They can also be used together with other eye drops such as beta-gan or xanatan drops. So how does Azop work? Azop eye drops contain the active ingredient brimzolamide which belongs to a group of medicines called carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. They are used to treat eye disorders such as glaucoma, which cause an increase in pressure within the eye. Carbonic anhydrase is a chemical in the body that is responsible for the production and breakdown of carbonic acid. Part of this reaction results in the production of bicarbonate. Brinzolamide inhibits the action of carbonic anhydrase and thereby decreases the production of bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is required for the production of fluid or aqueous humour that fills the back of the eye. The eye has two fluid filled spaces and if too much fluid is produced or not enough is allowed to drain away, this can lead to an increase in intraocular pressure within the eye. Such increases in pressure can damage the eye eventually leading to loss of sight. By decreasing the production of bicarbonate, azot drops decreases the amount of aqueous humor produced in the eye. This helps reduce the pressure caused by the fluid within the eye in eye conditions such as glaucoma. Azot should be used with caution in closed angle glaucoma, also caution in glaucoma caused by accumulation of pigment particles in the drainage channels of the eye, which is also called pigmentary glaucoma, and also used with caution in glaucoma caused as a result of a disorder of part of the eyeball called the ciliary body. Also used with caution in diabetes and for people wearing contact lenses, also people with dry eyes, and people with conditions that may affect the front layer of the eye or the cornea. So it is not to be used in people of an allergy to medicines from the sulfonamide group, for example, antibiotic sulfamethexazole, and also not to be used if high levels of chloride in the blood, resulting in high acid levels in the blood, and also people with severely decreased kidney function also contraindicated in people with decreased liver function and not to be used in children under 18 years of age. And this medicine should not be used if you're allergic to one or any of its ingredients. And you tell your doctor or pharmacist immediately if you previously have experienced such an allergy. If you feel you have experienced an allergic reaction to the eye drop, stop using the medicine immediately and inform your doctor or pharmacist. So using Azopt while pregnant and breastfeeding, the recommendation, so the safety of this medicine during pregnancy has not been established. So it should not be used during pregnancy unless considered essential by the doctor. And these eye drops should not be used by breastfeeding mothers. So some of the side effects of Azopt include inflammation of the eyelids which is also called blepharitis dry eyes eye itching blurred vision stinging or burning sensation in the eye and sensation of something being in the eye also a discharge from the eye headache abnormal taste and dry mouth so for further information on these and other possible risks associated with the medicine you need to read the information you've provided with the medicine or speak to your doctor or pharmacist for more. So how can Azopt affect other medicines? 
the brinzolamide in these eye drops could be absorbed into the bloodstream in low amounts after application to the eye and could therefore interact with other medicines that you are taking by mouth injection using a patch or suppository. If you're using more than one type of eye drop, you should administer them at least five minutes apart to prevent the second washing away the first and you use gels and ointments last. Using azoct eye drops with oral carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, for example acetylzolamide, may increase the likelihood of side effects. Therefore, it is not recommended by the manufacturer. So the following medicines may prevent the breakdown of azoct in the body, thus increasing the risk of side effects. So clotrimazole, itraconazole and ketoconazole and ritinivir. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact us to our website, mytelehealth.info or call into Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork or ring 436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.